students <clears throat> having studied about what is resonance and what are the types and where do we use these resonance circuits we will be dealing in detail with a particular type of a resonance circuit that is a series resonant circuit this series resonant circuit is also called acceptor circuit which i have written here you can see this is called acceptor circuit why this is called acceptor circuit i'll tell you later now this is series resonant circuit you can observe here three components rlc or you can say coil and capacitors are connected in series across ac source of variable frequency that means frequency of this is ac source can be varied as i have told you and made it clear in the previous video now what is resistance you know already resistance is the opposition for the flow of current suppose if these two components that is inductor and capacitors were not there in the circuit we would have said that this is the only component r is the only component which opposes this flow of current now it is not the case now there is inductor and capacitor along with the resistor so there is opposition by this inductor also there is opposition by this capacitor also opposition of this one we call as a resistance opposition of this one we call it as a reactance opposition of this one is also called as reactance you have studied details about these in your basic electrical subject in the previous semester hope you remember this is also reactance this is also reactance this is called inductive reactance whereas this is called capacitive reactance so there is a resistance there is a inductive reactance there is capacitive reactance so the total opposition or the total impedance of the circuit total impedance of the circuit will that is total opposition opposition by this opposition by this opposition by this for the flow of current we can take it as an impedance which is denoted by a letter z here you can observe this is letter z total impedance of the circuit is z that is nothing but r this is due to resistance this is jxl means inductive reactance this is minus jxc capacitive reactance i have written here what is jxl inductive reactance what is minus jxc this is capacitive reactance inductive reactance is given by j2 pi fl whereas minus jxc which is capacitive reactance is given by minus j2 pi fc hope you understood what is impedance impedance of the total circuit total impedance of this circuit we can take it as z that will be because of this plus because of this plus because of the next component c that is r plus jxl minus jxc right so now this is z now you can see this is jxl this is minus jxc right and uh, next this one is jxl is 2 pi fl and this is minus j divided by 2 pi fc you can see here f is directly proportional here f is inversely proportional right then the current flowing through this one is given by i is equal to v by r if there was only resistance we would have said v by r as ohm's law now i is equal to v by it is not only r r because of these three components which we take it as z here so what i'll write i is equal to v by z which i have shown here v by z right next both the components that is jxl and jxc they are frequency dependent jxl is directly proportional to frequency whereas this one is inversely proportional to frequency and i have told you frequency of ac source can be changed suppose if i go on increasing the frequency of this ac source what might happen to this reactance and what might happen to this reactance 
So, as I increase the frequency, JXL increases because it is directly proportional to F, whereas JXC decreases. So, it is sure that when I increase the frequency, reactance here increases, whereas reactance here decreases. One that is inductive reactance goes on increasing whereas capacitive reactance goes on decreasing. If I further increase the frequency, further this increases, further it decreases. It continues <coughs> and what and at one particular frequency both will become equal because one is increasing, another one is decreasing in value. So, at one particular frequency both may become equal. They are not only equal, they are opposite now that is plus JXL and minus JXC. Their values are becoming equal whereas they are opposite in sign. So, what happens is the net effect from these two components is going to become 0 at one particular frequency. Hope you understood. As we go on changing the frequency, reactance, inductive reactance increases, capacitive reactance decreases. At one particular frequency, inductive reactance becomes equal to the capacitive reactance. Both are equal and opposite, so they are going to get cancelled. So, at one particular frequency, let that frequency be say F0. F0 is a particular frequency at, at which JXL is equal to minus JXC, both equal and opposite, they are going to get cancelled. Once their effect in the circuit is cancelled, now only R remains in the circuit which is going to oppose the flow of current. That means opposition of the flow of current, opposition to the flow of current is now decreased at a particular frequency F0. So, then when opposition is decreased, the flow of current will be maximum. That current will take it as I0. I0 is the maximum current which we are getting at a particular frequency F0. Why do you get current maximum? Because the total impedance of the circuit simply becomes R instead of R plus JXL minus JXC. It is going to change to only R at a particular frequency. So, F0 is called resonant frequency because it is this frequency which is going to provide you the highest current in the circuit. Why it is going to provide the highest current? Because the total impedance of the circuit is going to get reduced to only R because of the cancellation of these two at a particular frequency F0. So, with this background, we will derive the equation for F0 that is F0 is the Resonant frequency, resonant frequency of series resonant circuit which is very important and asked in many of the question papers here. So, you can see at resonance XL is equal to XC. Why XL is equal to XC? This we have clearly seen. So, XL is 2 pi F naught L, XC is 1 divided by 2 pi F naught C. Now, we want the expression for F0. So, we will keep F0 this side. Bringing this F0 also this side, it will be F0 square. Only F0 we will keep this side. Rest everything we will send. We want only F0. So, F0 will be root of this, which we which will give 2 pi root LC. This is the equation for resonant frequency of a series resonant circuit. F0 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root LC. 2 pi, if you take it, becomes 2 pi F0 or 2 pi F which is nothing but omega. 2 pi F0 is there, you can put it as omega naught which is give you, which is going to give you 1 divided by root LC radians per second angular frequency. If you take this, you are going to write hers. If you take in terms of omega, it is going to be radians per second. This is important derivation. So, before deriving this, seeing this marks, you have to decide how much to write here. If it is asked for only 3 marks and all, you can directly start with this. If more than 3 marks and all, you should write some basics about this series resonance circuit, then you can write this to fetch the full marks, to get the full marks. Now, concerned with this only, there are some definitions like what is new definitions like resonance? 
what I can say it is the phenomenon in the electrical circuit in which XL equal to XC or phenomenon at which inductive reactance becomes equal to the capacitive reactance and the current through the circuit reaches maximum at a particular frequency F0. That means here we have once again defined what is resonance means. Resonance is the phenomenon of this electrical circuit at which inductive reactance becomes equal to the capacitive reactance and we will get the maximum current in the circuit. This happens at a frequency F0 which is called a resonant frequency here. It is the frequency at which XL is equal to XC and the current through the circuit will be maximum. This is about the new definitions what we can say about the resonant and the resonance and the resonant frequency. So this is all about the derivation of a resonant frequency of series resonant circuit. So we will see some more definitions, some more derivations on this series resonant circuit in the next video. Thank you.